Alright guys, so we're doing a reverse confit today. So I'm starting with searing my steak. And then we are going to have some fun. See you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so we got a good char on both sides of this steak. I'm going to let this bad boy sit. And then we got our veggies. So we are doing a reverse confit. So we are going to sear these to give the pan a nice flavor along with that meat. So that was onions, shallots, and some garlic. And I'm going to turn this down just a tad bit. Alright, so we're just giving these a light sear. We want all that flavor in this pan for this reverse confit. And don't worry about the black bit that's from um, our steak. So we're making some room for our butter. Butter, butter. And I know it's a lot of butter, guys, but y'all just gotta follow me. And we're going to let this butter melt down so we can get that reverse confit going, a.k.a. a butter bath for my steak. All right, so our reverse confit is ready to go. We want to make sure we get that butter over everything. All these onions and Oh, the shallots and the garlic. Oh, it's going to be so good, y'all. So we're going to cook this at a low temp until we get it to the desired cut of steak that we want. What do we want today? Medium? Medium rare? Yeah. All right. So we'll see you guys when our butter bath, a.k.a. reverse confit, is done. All right, guys. So our steak is done. I am just going to set this out for the required 10 minutes and let this bad boy cool off. And then we're going to taste it. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we let our steak cool off, cool off. Mm, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Y'all. You gotta try this reverse confit method. And we finna eat, y'all. I'ma see y'all next time.